people who escaped from the Al Shifa hospital in Gaza. Unlimited doctors were shot on Saturday by the Israeli forces around. The hospital is close center of city, which is reported to be surrounded by Israeli army because it continues invade Gaza Strip. Our staff during the writing on Saturday morning on Saturday morning, while trying to escape from the Al Shifa hospital, people are witnessing that people have been shot. MSF is urgently reiterating to stop the attacks on hospitals immediately to protect ceasefire and medical facilities, health personnel and patients. Medicines Sans Frontiers is another name for unlimited doctors. MSF, Gaza's largest Al-Shifa hospital, attacked for at least one day and claimed that medical personnel of MSF specified medical staff in facility. The organization said, in the last 24 hours, the hospitals in Gaza are under ruthless ardment and caused injury. The organization also contacted a surgeon at the Al Quds Hospital and that the Al Rantisi Children's Hospital was surrounded by Israeli tanks. The Israeli army claimed the Al Shifa Hospital claimed that it was under siege ve and its army fought Hamas militants at the beginning of Saturday. The Israeli army said that a claim allowed people to leave the hospital safely. MSF. Despite regular attacks and famine, the staff managed to keep the hospital operational. Yesterday, Al Shifa Hospital lost electrical power. Ambulance can no longer move to collect the injured ones and prevent uninterrupted ardment patients and staff to be evacuated. In the Channel 4 interview on Friday, MSF surgeon Dr. Mohamed Obaid reiterated that many patients required surgery and could not walk. Because of the surgery, we can't leave because we've worked on about 25 patients from the morning of Thursday. According to the Hamas-controlled Gaza Ministry of Health, the Israeli-Hamas war killed more than 11,000 Palestinians, including more than 4,000 children. The fight began after Hamas militants launched a surprise attack on the Israeli border communities. At the beginning of last month, after killing about 1,200 people,